Nepal is a geographically diverse, landlocked country strategically placed between two economic powerhouses, India and China. Spread over 1,47,181 square kilometers and comprising of mountains, hills and the plains, Nepal ranks 93rd among the biggest countries in the world. Nepal is rich in water resources with more than 6,000 rivers flowing from highlands from north to southern plains. Nepal's theoretical capacity for producing power from hydropower projects is around 80,000 megawatts, out of which 43,000 megawatts is estimated to be economically feasible. Hence, Nepal has great potential in clean and green energy production through hydroelectricity. Similarly, Nepal has potential to capitalize the comparative advantages in labor-intensive sectors such as agro-based and carpets and textile industries. Approximately 65% of the population in Nepal is dependent on agriculture and agriculture sector contributes to about 33% of GDP. However, due to the growing population and land fragmentation, agricultural sector has not been able to perform well as it should. About 25.1% of the population is below the poverty line. Since it is a landlocked country, Nepal is dependent on India for most of its international trade. Adding to the already difficult remains, the road connecting to China has also been badly damaged in the April 2015 earthquake. Although trade contributes about 38.4% in the GDP, Nepal's international trade is mostly imports dominant, as imports amount to 35.1%, while exports amount to 3.3% of total merchandise trade. Thus, Nepali economy is suffering from trade deficit of as much as 32% of its GDP. Nepal's trade sector has been moving forward amongst many challenges. The government of Nepal formed the Ministry of Commerce in order to increase exports, which will help to reduce the widening trade deficit. Since its inception, the Ministry of Commerce has brought forward policies and programs to make Nepal an export-driven economy. The Ministry has been working on improving trade performance that functions as a strong pillar to the national economy. Recognizing the fact that fostering trade is a cross-cutting issue, the Ministry has been actively carrying out the role of facilitating for interagency coordination and that with the private sector and mainstreaming trade in national as well as sectoral policies and strategies. Currently, Nepal exports wool carpets, ready-made garments, red lentils, polyester and other fabrics, textiles, glass, steel and tin products, handicrafts, silver jewellery, toothpaste, cardamom, tea, ginger, Nepali paper, leather, pashmina and herbs among others. Nepal has been importing iron and steel, petroleum products, vehicles and spare parts, electric and electronic items, machineries and parts, raw material for plastic, raw palm oil, telecommunication products, chemicals, gold, fertilizers, airplanes and spare parts, soybean oil, ready-made garments, among others. The most income-generating export products are carpets. Carpets worth 80 million rupees were exported last fiscal year. However, iron and steel worth Nepali rupees 780 million and petroleum products worth 690 million rupees were imported. If such circumstances prevail, the economy is sure to falter. The biggest challenge, therefore, is to bring substantial increment to potential export products so as to prevent further economic crisis and to pave a path for perpetual economic development. ट्रेड डेफिसिट प्रत्येक वर्ष वाइडेनिंग भएर गएको छ 
Taking this into account, the Ministry of Commerce has taken a series of initiatives to promote exports so as to achieve sustainable and inclusive economic growth, poverty reduction and facilitate in food security. The Ministry has been conducting programs focusing on four major areas that is, supply capacity boosting and value chain development, development of trade-related infrastructure, trade facilitation and market promotion in close coordination and collaboration with relevant line ministries. The Ministry recognizes the poor infrastructure as the bottleneck of Nepal's trade sector resulting in too high trade cost in terms of time and resources. Nepal was among the 110 countries to ratify the Landmark Trade Facilitation Agreement TFA, at the WTO, which has already come into effect since 22 February 2017. With the successful implementation of the TFA, landlocked developing countries LLDCs, like Nepal are expected to be the major beneficiary in reducing transport costs and enhancing the competitiveness. The Ministry of Commerce has been negotiating at the bilateral, regional and multilateral levels to overcome the major barriers of trade sector of Nepal, such as challenges due to SPS and TBT-related issues and seize opportunities of trade liberalization. Under Nepal Trade Preference Act 2016, the United States of America has authorized special trade preferences for Nepal, which will grant duty-free market access for up to 66 types of items for 10 years, and various other agreements have been made for capacity building and upgrading of trade-related infrastructure. Also, formal efforts are being made to develop skill and capacity of customs offices in the border areas. Preparations are being made to open trade routes with China through Korala and Rasuwagadi transit points. A container freight station CFS is also being built in Tobhar. The ministry has involved itself actively in issues pertaining to trade and business such as skill development and capacity building, accessible markets and interactions with relevant stakeholders and private sector. Trade facilitation. Pratyek stage ma production unit dekhi market sama jane jun supply chain cha link cha. Teska every stage ma uh, at the border, beyond the border, behind the border. Sabai tira facilitation ka major sarupan lino parsa. Atyes pachi bane ko market promotion ko kam garnu parsa. Nepali bostula antarashti bazar ma pradvardan garna ko lagi bazar pradvardan ko kam pani garnu parsa. Yo area ma mandrale le kam garne ko cha. Nepal, being a landlocked country, is completely dependent on India's Kolkata port for imports and exports of its goods. The Ministry has been making efforts on using India's Vishakhapatnam's port so as to further ease trade, reduce trade cost and create an alternate trade route. The former Prime Minister signed agreement on transit rights through China on his visit to China on March 2016 that has opened new opportunities for trade and its development. Furthermore, the Government of India assured the former Prime Minister during his last visit to India of its support in overcoming trade challenges, thus creating more possibilities for the Nepali trade sector. जुन नेपाल व्यापार एकीकृत रणनीति 2016 मा लन्च गरेर हामीले ल्याएका छौं कार्यान्वयन गर्न ल्याएका छौं त्यो बेलामा धेरै हामीले चाहिँ छलफल गरेका थियौं हाम्रो मेजर ट्रेडिंग पार्टनरहरुसँग उनीहरुको बजारसम्म पुग्नको लागि ड्युटीका वालहरु कर्मस कम भत्किदै गएका छन् त्यसकारणले त्यो ननटारी ब्यारियरहरु हटाएर हाम्रो वस्तुलाई बजारसम्म ल्याउने एउटा चुनौती अर्को चाहिँ पूर्वाधार निर्माण गर्न रिसर्च मोबिलाइजेसन गर्न र बनाउने यद्यपि त्यो काम चाहिँ गर्नुपर्छ त्यो भई पनि राखेको अवस्था छ र अर्को प्रोडक्ट डेभलपमेन्ट र अलि यति म्यानुफ्याक्चरिङ लाई एक्सपान्सन गरेर जब क्रिएसन गर्ने ती यी ती तीन चार वटा कुराहरु हाम्रो अगाडि चुनौती हुन् जसलाई गर्न सकियो भने अवसरमा परिणत गर्न सकिने स्थिति पनि छ the Trade Policy 2015, formulated by the Government of Nepal, aims at enhancing export competitiveness, which includes provisions aimed at promoting service trade, protecting intellectual property rights, and implementing decisions taken during the 9th Ministerial Conference of World Trade Organization. The policy also has directions to support for value chain development to enhance competitiveness of Nepali products, including those identified by the NTIS 2016. 
Similarly, the process of amending of Export-Import Management Act is in the final stage, which would be another milestone in terms of legal reforms initiated by the Ministry for creating conducive environment for trade. Nepal Trade Integration Strategy NTIS 2016 is Nepal's third-generation trade integration strategy, which is the revised and updated form of NTIS 2010. NTIS 2016 seeks to address the outstanding trade and competitiveness challenges confronted by the country's export sector. This strategy has identified actions to address protracted constraints in a number of cross-cutting areas, such as identifying, promoting, and increasing exports of goods and services with high export potential. The government introduced this strategy after extensive consultations and discussions with concerned ministries, development partners, private sectors and stakeholders. The strategy was prepared with the technical support from the Enhanced Integrated Framework EIF, at the World Trade Organization Geneva. I think we, uh, the Nepal and the uh, EU, we're long-standing partners. Yes. Uh, I think we established diplomatic relations back in 1975. 1996, we signed our first cooperation agreement. Yes. And in 2002, we established a delegation. Yes. And so I think we have a very dynamic relationship. Of course, uh, there's still potential for uh, more in-depth growth and more, um, especially from the trade perspective, mm -hmm. more interaction. Yes. Uh, we are one of the largest development partners of Nepal, so I think in that perspective we are um, very long-standing and good partners. The NTIS has been implemented with an aim to strengthen trade and export enabling environment, focus on product development and strengthen supply capacity of priority products, strengthen institutional capacity, trade negotiation and interagency coordination and build and enhance trade-related infrastructures. NTIS Baneko Nepal Bapar Ekikri Tronaniti Ho, Yuchai Sapanda Poila, DTIS Kurupma, Duizar Sarma, and the first phase my implementation of Liatu, and it is the second phase my two thousand ten ma, Chai implementation ma Ayo, Ra Oil recently, I'm the Duizar Su. यो तेस्रो फेज को इम्प्लिमेंटेशन में हमी गाका चाहूं यो भाने को क्यों भाने हमरो एक्सपोर्ट पोटेंशियल एरिया आरु भाई का अथवा उस एक्सपोर्ट पोटेंशियल भाई का प्रोडक्ट आरु लाई अंतर्राष्ट्रीय बाजार में परिवर्तन करने गरी हमें ले प्रायरिटाइज करनो पड़े अब सब बंदा पहला ता हमरा मेजर एक्सपोर्ट पोटेंशियल � अनि तेज पच्चे बाजार सम्मल आने काम को लागी फोकस रूप में गवर्नमेंट का विभिन्न मिनिस्ट्री और उले कोऑर्डिनेटेड रूप में कार्यक्रम हरो अगाडी बढ़ाए र कारण में निकारने मूल उद्देश्य का साथ ही एनटीआईएस आए कुछ Various policies are being devised for institutional capacity building for trade, including capacity for trade negotiations, business environment for investment and trade, trade and transport facilitation, standards and technical regulations, sanitary and phytosanitary measures, intellectual property rights, and issues related to trade in services to promote exports so as to achieve sustainable and inclusive economic growth. EU has recently from Germany taken over this role. What is EIF? It's the Enhanced Integrated Facility, but basically it's about mobilizing and coordinating support for aid for trade. Here we see our role to, to help uh, the government to make best use first of this facility, but also to mobilize in a larger sense cooperation for having a better trade environment. EIF National Steering Committee has been established under the chairpersonship of the Minister of Commerce to ensure effective coordination for implementation of NTIS 2016 through policy and strategic guidance and resource mobilization. The committee comprises of Chief Secretary as the co-chairperson, members include Secretaries of Concerned Ministries and National Planning Commission, the Deputy Governor of Nepal Rashtra Bank, President of the Chamber of Commerce and the President of the Federation of Nepali Chambers of Commerce and Industry. The Head of Division of the Ministry of Commerce, Planning and International Trade Cooperation serves as the Member Secretary. The committee focuses solely on fulfilling the agendas of the NTIS 2016. 
The committee has been directed to implement actions so as to attain short-term goals by 2018 and medium-term goals by 2020. As part of its initial task to formulate Nepal Trade Integration Strategy 2016, the Government of Nepal conducted a thorough review of progress and shortfalls following the implementation of NTIS 2010. The NTIS 2016 is the updated and revised form of the NTIS 2010. We see that uh, development cooperation to a large extent should help uh, to also foster inclusive economic growth. Mm -hmm. And here in Nepal, uh, we see that in particular agriculture, tourism, but also trade have a lot of potential for this inclusive growth and job creation. We uh, are embarking to work together with the government uh, to implement the agriculture development strategy mm -hmm. and more concretely when it comes to Ministry of Commerce we are here engaged in uh, the capacity development strategy to uh, help the MOC to um, increase uh, its um, capacity for trade negotiations but also to oversee a better quality infrastructure and to stimulate value chains. This strategy also aims to increase the competitiveness of the Nepali service sector. For example, the tourism sector. The tourism sector is an important component of the overall Nepali service trade. The NTIS 2016 has outlined the potentials for product and value chain development of nine potential export goods and three services. Cardamom, ginger, tea, medicinal and aromatic plants, all fabrics, textile, yarn and rope, leather, footwear, pashmina and carpets are the priority export potential goods and IT, BPO and IT engineering Tourism, skilled and semi-skilled professionals at various categories are the priority export potential services identified by the strategy. Nepal ko astakala bida bane ko Nepal ko moolik kala pani ho. Yo sthaniya kacha padartha ra sthaniya ship ma adarit udyog ho. Yo chhatra lai rajya le bises prathmikta chhatra ma rakhiye ko khanda ma yele garibi newni karan garne, soros gar sirzana garne. र राष्ट्रको पहिचानलाई बढाउने काम चाहिँ गरिरहेको पाइएको छ हस्तकलाका सामानहरु अहिले हाम्रो डाटा अनुसार झन्डै 80 वटा भन्दा बढी मुलुकमा चाहिँ एक्सपोर्ट भएको पाइएको छ नेपालले नै अन्तर्राष्ट्रिय जगतमा चाहिँ अन्तर्राष्ट्रिय मार्केटमा पश्मिनाको चाहिँ पहिचान गरेको हामीले नै नेपालबाट नै भएको थियो नेपालबाट पश्मिना जन्य वस्तुहरुको निर्यात जुन छ Similarly, the NTIS has included IPR, which is an important subject to the trade sector. Hydroelectricity that holds tremendous potential to the Nepali economy has also been included in the other priority export potential sectors in the NTIS 2016. नेपाल को अंतर्राष्ट्रीय व्यापार आंतरिक व्यापार लाई प्रबंधन करने विकास करने साझी करण करने रेट्रेड सेक्टर लाई इकोनॉमी को ये उन्हों ओन ऑफ़ द मेजर पीलर्स को रुपए स्टैबलिश करने र कंट्रीब्यूट करने और ये बनी तब आएंगे हम लोग टोटल जीडीपी अनुभव बने करीब करीब 22 अरब अमेरिकी डॉलर इकोनॉमी लाई कंट्रीब्यूट करने का दी स्टैबलिश करने ट्रेड सेक्टर लाई प्रोडक्टिव जॉब क्रिएशन कराऊंगे अनितेश पच्ची आये रह इकोनॉमी ग्रोथ ट्रेड लेट इकोनॉमी ग्रोथ लाई इंश्योर करने काम कर सो ओवरऑल ब्रोडर ऑब्जेक्टिव यही हो यही हिसाब ले आम्रो पॉलिसी पनी फॉर्मूलेशन बात सर र the Enhanced Integrated Framework is a framework under the WTO that implements a support program called the Aid for Trade AFT initiatives, which works on 51 LDC countries, including Nepal, to upsurge trade capacity. I think um, it's very interesting if you look at the long-term uh, relationship we have with the government of Nepal. Mm -hmm. uh, many years ago, uh, let's say 20-25 years ago, we had a very much a project approach. 
Um, we used to uh, give support, uh, for example, uh, in the agricultural sector or in the renewable energy sector um, through a project-based approach. Yes. Um, then over the years uh, we turned to uh, bu sector budget support, mm -hmm. especially in the education sector. Yes. Uh, and also our portfolio really uh, grew substantially mm -hmm. um, from uh, the last um, framework uh, uh, running unto, until uh, 2013. Yes. We had uh, over seven years 120 million euros. Mm -hmm. The current phase, which runs until 2020, we have tripled this, so that's 360 million euros as bilateral um, support. The Net Trade project, in operation since 2010 under the EIF, has been supporting trade mainstreaming, donor coordination and institutional capacity for trade capacity building. The objective of the project is to support in institutional capacity building, which ultimately ensures faster growth of the country, alleviation of poverty through creation of jobs, and enhance sustainability of trade development efforts, resulting in greater overall benefit to the Nepali through enhanced global integration, trade development, and proposed positioning of the country. आयात र निर्यात को रेशियो लाई बांसित दरमा अथवा संतुलित काम संतुलित दरमा मात्रे काम गर्न सकियो बने व्यापार घाटा कम हुने स्थिति रहन्छ इम्पोर्ट साइन कंट्री को रिक्वायरमेंट अनुसार आउने गर्छ इम्पोर्ट आप ही मग अलवेज अब यो नराम्रो कुरा पनि होइन यदि इम्पोर्ट लाई आमिले मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर लाई कंट्रीब्यूट ह कंटेंट और इनपुट और लाइ मोबिलाइज करना है मैं सके हूँ बने तेरे फेरी और कोई इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन को प्रोसेस तक कंट्रीब्यूट कर सा। The following projects are currently in operation under the Nepal government's Ministry of Commerce and Supplies. Nepal Enhanced Capacities for Trade and Development (N) project supported by Enhanced Integrated Framework (WTO). The Nepal India Regional Trade and Transport Project (NIRTTP) supported by the World Bank. Trade and Private Sector Development TPSD, funded by the European Union and the Trade Promotion Programme supported by the Federal Ministry of Economic Cooperation Development BMZ, of Government of Germany. These projects focus basically on support in capacity development, development of quality infrastructure and implementation of NTIS 2016 Action Matrix. As far as trade relations are concerned, I think there is room for improvement. Uh, we are the, the second largest uh, export market for Nepal. Uh, we're also helping the government of Nepal, Nepal through, uh, for example, a trade facilitation project yes. uh, where we are focusing on the coffee sector, mm -hmm. uh, the value chain for coffee growers. And uh, we feel that th this has very much potential for small farmers. Mm -hmm. um, but I think in terms of exports, um, there still there are many challenges. I think what Nepal exports to Europe is mainly confined to carpets, to uh, garments, uh, spices, tea, uh, coffee hopefully will come up. Mm -hmm. um, but here is I think where we, we still want to uh, work together to, to help uh, the, the growth potential. Mm -hmm. um, and of course on our side we mainly export uh, technical uh, engin uh, engineering material etc. machine uh, products. So, um, I think we're doing well. Uh, we have a few uh, European Chambers of Commerce that are working very well, and but uh, of course as EU we um, want to do our best to, to help the government uh, really um, uh, look at this potential and work even more together. The Trade and Export Promotion Centre under the Nepal government has been conducting various programmes to increase trade such as participation in national and international business trade fairs and trainings on capacity building since 2006. निर्यातमा हामीले आशा गरेको जस्तो सफलता पाउनलाई हामीले धेरै मेहनत गर्नुपर्ने हुन्छ विशेष गरेर हाम्रो इकोनोमी अहिले आयातमा निर्भर भएको हुनाले र हाम्रो देशमा विभिन्न विकासका कामहरु गर्नुपर्ने भएको हुनाले र हामीसँग स्रोत साधनको कमी भएको हुनाले सम्बन्धित प्रोडक्टहरु हामीले विदेशबाट आयात गर्न गर्दाखेरि निर्यात हाम्रो थोरै देखिएको स्थिति हो निर्यात बढाउनको लागि हामीले उत्पादन तहदेखि लिएर निकासी तहसम्म विभिन्न प्रक्रियागत कुराहरु हामीले सञ्चालन गरिराखेका छौ विभिन्न क्षेत्रमा गएर अन्तर्राष्ट्रिय व्यापार मेलामा पार्टिसिपेट गर्ने गर्ने देखि होस् र व्यापारीहरुलाई ट्रेनिङ दिएर 
सशक्त जनशक्ति उत्पादन करने कुरा में होस् रो ट्रेडमाक रेजिस्ट्रेशन कराए अंतरराष्ट्रीय क्षेत्र में तेज को पहचान कराने कुरा में होस् हमी इसमें निरंतर लगी पड़े Commercial ties with various national agencies as well as financial support by international agencies has helped implement various projects which has been significant in paving paths for overall trade development in Nepal. व्यापार काटा कटान लाई ये उड़ाता हमरे ये जून ये फ्यूल और ये इंपोर्ट भाई रहा था तो फ्यूल को ठाउ में अब इलेक्ट्रिक जून अब लोड सेटिंग रहा इलेक्ट्रिक को हमें सफिशिएंट बन रहा था अब इलेक्ट्रिक गाड़ी और रो इलेक्ट्रिक घराई सामान और इलेक्ट्रिक बारे चलने जति था तेला परियो गर गाड़ी देखी ले रहा सब बेटे दर्ता देखी ले रहा तो इंपोर्ट देखी ले रहा अंतर सुकल देखी तेरे को पार्ट देखी ले रहा बैटरी देखी सब इमा फ्री गानु पर यो अन्य बच्ची यो अब ठुल ठुला गाड़ी अरु पनी इलेक्ट्रिक गाड़ी अरु चलान पर यो बाजार में रा नेपाल सरकार ले अब निजी क्षेत्र ले पनी गानु पर यो रा अली बाजार में है ना तेली करता है हम लोग बेबार गाड़ा ये उड़ा था फ्यूल और मैं कंजर्न और इन्वायरमेंट पर नहीं रामरो हमने कितने गनों पर देना रीट होला देश का तो इसको जनसंख्या को 0.1 परसेंट मात्रे दुबई ले पर्यटन पढ़ाई देवने हम लाई अवला दौला उनसा त्यो अनुसार को हम ले जाएंगे पर्यटन शेवार र चाइना में 8,030 आइटम को एक्सपोर्ट करता है जीरो टैरिफ सा इस सब भाई को हमने जानी बेनिफिट ले रहा एक्सपोर्ट करने तेरा ध्यान देने पर यो सरकार ले यो कहाँ कहाँ हमी कमजोर सर किन्ह यो भाई न रह को बने रहा त्यो ठाउं पता लाया रहा तेरा तेरा पहला अमल कर रहे तेरे तेरे गए में हमरे व्यापार गाड़ा में अली का दी साझी करन उनसे सब्सटेंशियल डेवलपमेंट टू द कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी हैज मेड द वर्ल्ड अ स्मॉल प्लेस In the current situation, any achievement in a small region can affect everyone else. International cooperation in eradication of extreme poverty and inequality has been stronger than before. As such, several global attempts are being made to support economically disadvantaged countries. Innumerable steps implemented by the Nepal government to curb trade deficit by strengthening exports and cutting back on imports by import substitution hold high prospects. The Trade Policy 2015 and Nepal Trade Integration Strategy 2016 would be instrumental in increasing the contribution of trade in the national economy, particularly in achieving export-led growth and address the rising trade deficit outstanding trade and competitiveness challenges confronted by the country's export sector. The international community has been helping immensely in attainment of goals by extending its support to this attempt of the Nepal government. Another se sector yes. where I think there is a lot of potential is tourism. Yes. Um, if you see the European tourists account for the, I think, the second largest number of tourists to Nepal. In 2006, 150,000 came from Europe. Mm -hmm. And there, there is, of course, enormous potential because this is such a beautiful country. Yes. Our country holds tremendous potential for potential export products and resources. With support from stakeholders to attain more resources and technical support and its mobilization, resulting in competitive placing of products, it won't be too long before our trade performance improves significantly by increasing exports and reduction of trade deficit. The effective implementation of the Trade Policy 2015 and NTIS 2016 can bring about substantial change and development to trade, thus creating possibilities of a silver lining, which holds the key to the future of Nepal and of the Nepali people. Thank you.